guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a video for beginners to romance. So I am here to recommend five authors that I think that collectively, like universally, are really great authors that I think that if you are a casual romance reader, or if you are even a seasoned romance reader, you would really love these authors. They are authors that I feel like have such a interesting ability to weave a romance story, and something about the books that like universally everybody loves. So if I was asked by any random stranger, give me a romance recommendation, these five authors would be it. And I think that they write so, so well, such compelling romances where you are obsessed with all the characters that they create and you're just like giddy thinking about them. These five are where to start. So whether you are brand new to romance and you're like, I don't know what to pick up, or you've read a lot and you want some more recommendations, you've probably read these. Like they are definitely well-known romance authors, but if you haven't read them, read them now. So I'm gonna go with the obvious. So this author is the, like, just killing it in the romance genre. She didn't write romance initially, which I think is very interesting. I think she wrote YA and she wrote her first romance novel and it blew up and she has been killing it ever since. I think she's gonna win the Goodreads Choice Awards this year. And she came out with like three movie deals back to back to back and I'm so excited. And that is Emily Henry. I'm not gonna go through every book by every author on this list, but she only has five adult romances. So I will go ahead and chat with them. And the order that I read them. So I fell in love with Emily Henry in Beach Read. Now this one I think is the most that lends more on the fiction side. This is two writers who are kind of rivals that that are staying in the these houses on a lake right next to each other and I just remember being so giddy about this I read this when it came out like I was like "Ooh, what is this book why is everyone loving it but it heavily revolves around her father who passed away so please know this deals a lot with grief and there was infidelity with her father and she is just coming to terms with that but she is living next to Gus they uh, challenge each other to write each other's genres and go on writing dates together so they go on like research dates so she takes him to a carnival and he takes her other places for what he writes because she writes romance he writes more like lit fic and it is so good I was obsessed with this the next two though that she wrote are not my favorites and it's definitely very interesting to see like who likes which Emily Henry books I don't know a lot of people who are like I'm obsessed with every single thing she wrote but I think you will find something you really like so pick up what you're most interested in people who meet on vacation and book lovers were just okay for me so people who meet on vacation are two friends who had a falling out and we don't know why and they always went on vacation together and now we see in the present day where they're falling in love and like why they stopped talking to each other like something happened and then book lovers I don't remember too much about this one because I wasn't the biggest fan of it so I just I don't know why I don't remember a lot about this plot but he's an editor and she's a literary agent and they're rivals so this one I thought was okay but they do not compare to the the last two books she wrote so happy place I'm obsessed with. This is a second chance romance where they broke up, but they didn't tell anybody that they broke up and their friends go on a yearly vacation together. So they have to go on vacation together with their friends acting like they're still dating. So, so angsty and we get flashbacks between them falling in love, what tore them apart. And it's definitely very much right person, wrong time. And it's so heart wrenching. Amazing. I loved it. And then her newest one funny story is just so good too. The heroine's fiance and the hero's fiance are cheating on them with each other. So they they all both call off their weddings and then they because they're like childhood best friends their fiancés were so they end up moving in together because they're like we got nowhere else to stay and the heroine has moved to Michigan to be with her fiance and she's so far away from everything she's known and she got this new library position and the hero I was very hesitant on it first he does work at a winery and he's like let me show you like you can fall in love with our town and so maybe you'll stay when your job like you were thinking of leaving your job so they fall in love and it is so good and I just love her characters that she writes and just the romantic moments that she writes are amazing so if you're new to romance I think these are very easy to get into because they are kind of more fictiony but have such strong romances that you fall in love with so please please read her and then the next author we have is one that I've been reading for so many years and I think she deserves all the hype she's getting right now and I'm obsessed with her and that is Kennedy Ryan so I'm gonna recommend two series by her first is this series which is her newest releases and definitely more on the fiction side so if you you are kind of hesitant to get into the romance genre because you don't want the entire plot to be about the romance. These definitely have more of a fictiony side to them, but they have such swoony romances. In book three, the cover just released.
release and it's stunning. So this one is actually a second chance romance between a married couple. So they got divorced, they're raising their children together, and then they're falling in love again and it is so good. I'm obsessed with this one and they have teenage kids. So what I really like is Kennedy Ryan kind of writes a little bit of older characters. So they are at points in their lives where they're like thinking about their careers and raising their kids and I love this one. And then we have This Could Be Us which is about our heroine who finds things out about her husband and obviously they're gonna get a divorce and she falls for the guy who's responsible for ruining her husband's career <laughs> and obviously her husband has feelings about it and she also has kids and the hero actually also has kids as well and he has two sons with autism and so I love that explored in here because Kennedy Ryan does have a son with autism as well and the heroine is trying to build up her own career and her own life so both of these are amazing definitely read these but then I'm gonna recommend my favorite series by her which is not what everybody else loves so people really love the grip series which I do love that totally breaks your heart rips it out and but I never finished that series because it's so heart-wrenching but the Kingmaker duet is one of my absolute favorites by her like one of my favorite books of all time the heroine is native and her mother is one of the many native women who go missing and are never found and she is protesting a pipeline going in on native land and the hero's father is responsible for putting it in native land so they first meet at a protest that his father brings him to and that she's there and she ends up in jail with him but she's like a teenager at that point and he's just a little bit older than her so nothing ever happens because it's like a weird time in their lives to be able to be together because of the, t the age difference but time moves forward and they keep on seeing each other over and over again and he ends up having this really great like green company and she works in politics it is so amazing if you love suspense too there's a bit of suspense at this end of the first book that you're just like I need book two now I have not read these in years but I absolutely love them like I said one of my favorite books of all time and amazing but just know book one definitely ends on a cliffhanger so be prepared okay so then the next author I'm going to recommend I'm like do I go obvious or not obvious this might surprise you I'm gonna go with not obvious and that is going to be an author who writes extreme emotions and that is Jennifer Hartman still beating is one of the most amazing books of all time but you have to be ready for a little bit of a darker tone to her romances because in still beating she really hates her sister's fiance they have a bit of a history she hates him and she ends up being kidnapped with him and and they are forced to do unspeakable things together because the person that usually kidnaps them, he makes them fall in love with each other and then murders them in front of each other. So she and her sister's fiance are the next victims and they actually do escape and it's about trying to overcome a trauma when nobody understands and wants you to move on and someone is there who has been there and understands your trauma. So one of my, again, favorite books of all time. Like these authors are like all time favorites. So this one's amazing. The Wrong Heart is also really good. She actually loses her husband and he donates his organs and his heart goes to someone and she reaches out to that person and their romance goes from there. I will say like Still Beating exceeds every single book I've read by her but I have been so entranced with everything that she's ever written and the dynamic of the characters that she writes and the stories that she writes are just so unique and I love them. I have not read, I think I've only read three books by her. I read The Wrong Heart, Still Beating, and Lotus and I need to read her other books. She has the stars on our side she has june 1st and then she has older which recently came out and then the optimist oh i did read the optimist guide to love and heartbreak um i love those her duet is amazing too so read those i forgot how much i've read by her so jennifer hartman is a must the next author i'm going to recommend is a sports romance author and i think she kills it with her heroes like they are the swooniest heroes you will ever read and that is Liz Tom Forty. So I have not yet read Play Along. I know I'm gonna love it, so I'm like savoring it for a good time, but I have read the other three in her Mile High series, and I just think she writes phenomenally just like I said the swooniest hero so if you really want a romance to sweep you off your feet and you're just like kicking your feet and giggling you need to read these so mile high I love the banter between Xander and Stevie Stevie's a flight attendant for the hockey team so they have like their own private plane and she's one of the flight attendants and Xander's is a hockey player and he sees her and he's like oh my gosh like you know I watch you and so it's their banter and her brother's actually a famous basketball player so you get his story in the right move which I think might be my favorite of the series he has to live with her best friend and then they fake date and it is so good like Ryan Shay is unmatchable like 
he won a hero to swoon over, swoon over him. And then we have a baseball romance in Caught Up with Kai, and he is a single dad, and it is a single dad nanny romance. She's a pastry chef, and she is really like in a rut, and so she takes this job. Her dad is the coach, and she gets a job as his babysitter, so she like gets to travel with the team and stuff. They fall in love, and it is so good. And then I do know that Play Along is also a baseball romance. Oh, she's a team doctor. Oh my gosh, I love that. So I need to read book four, but if you want sports romance and you want to go into romance, read list Tom Bordy, like you have to. The last author I have is an author where I've only not loved one book by her, and I have read every single book she's written, and that is Abby Jimenez. She might actually have a novella that I haven't read. I've read all of her, her like, normal books. I actually read her first book as an arc, I believe. Loved it. So her books are amazing, and I'm going to recommend her last three releases because I think she just gets stronger and stronger with each release. I think Heart of Your World was first. This is a age gap romance where she is a doctor, and he is actually younger and from, like, a small town and she is like big city life she's engaged to another doctor and she just doesn't, doesn't really like her life and so she ends up being like stranded in this town and he saves her and it's their romance and oh my gosh again like giggling swooning so cute I love this one I think she was engaged I'm pretty sure and then we have yours truly which is a another doctor so the heroine's a doctor and she is just getting divorced and she <laughs> her romance is with another doctor she hates so he is like newer to their unit and she's in line to get like this promotion and he is also in line for the promotion and she immediately hates him she's like this is what I've been working for you have no business running for this and he has anxiety in this one and he is like I have no idea what you're talking about and they have like these meetings in like the closets at work <laughs> where they talk to each other it's so good it is so so freaking good I love every second of her books and then her newest one just for the summer so the heroine is a nurse and she's a traveling nurse she believes that she's cursed so she thinks that every person she dates breaks up with her and finds a love of their life right after the hero thinks the same thing so he posts about it to reddit and she ends up reaching out because she's like hey I do that too because he like went viral and they obviously they're like we're strangers on the internet we shouldn't trust each other but they start talking to each other and they're like listen what if we date each other and we'll like max out our curse and the next person we date is going to be the one we fall in love with so they end up falling in love with each other obviously she ends up moving to where he is getting a job there and it is so good it is so good I love her romances so much and if you want again just romances to giggle and swoon over but also that do deal with heavy topics and I think she has great representation of her characters and like different things they could experience you need to read her books and those are the five authors that I think that everybody needs to read and everybody needs to pick up and especially if you're new to romance these are great intros to the romance genre whether you're looking for sports romance darker very emotional angsty romances or just swoon worthy romances I think you would really like these are great places to start with so let me know if you've read any of these authors and what your favorite books by them are and also let me know what you think are books that are great intros to romance as well I would love to hear if if you have made it this far, leave me the sun emoji for just for the summer. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.